And today, Lucy really wanted to say hi. Nathan Kosh, thanks for joining us around the home. Okay, I have something a little bit different for you guys today. All right, I have a little mini crock pot from Pioneer Woman. It's been an interesting video. My wife's been buying out Pioneer Woman stuff lately, this whole year, like crazy. I don't know if the lockdown pandemic is just driving her crazy. Uh, of course, you know, she's really liking these styles and I'm not minding it completely. Of course, I'm minding it some because like we won't stop. I mean, every, every other day there's a package from Walmart showing up, right? It's insane. But um, the price to, to value and everything like that is it, really good. You know, it's not very pricey, but I find that the quality is, is definitely matching the price point uh, pretty much all, all around the board. Uh, whether it's the plates or the knives or the cups or whatever. Uh, I've been pretty, pretty happy so far. This little crock pot was kind of interesting. And I'm talking about, uh, this actually came in a two pack. I'm not sure if that matters. But the, the bottom of the ceramic was really rough. I mean, it felt like sandpaper, like really rough sandpaper. And here's the problem with that. Okay, so it was on my countertop. If I tried to scoot or something like that, it wouldn't even scoot. It, it wouldn't scoot at all. It was like, Ert. you know, you could hear it cutting into the countertop. All right, and uh, some of you were like, well, it's a Formica countertop. Why don't you just get granite? Well, not everyone can afford granite. So maybe you have a Formica or an epoxy. Maybe you do one of these cool, cool epoxies. You want someone to accidentally slide this across and just gouge it. Also, if you have natural stone and you have a mirror polish and it's a darker color, especially, you better believe that this is going to screw up that mirror polish. So I don't care if you do have granite. That wasn't good. So I'll show you how I fixed that. I just took a little piece of sandpaper, 180 grit, okay? You can do a little bit rougher, so you can be, be more like a 150 or something like that. I wouldn't go any, any softer. Um, and I just took a little strip like this, fold it like that so I could, you know, get a good grip on it. And simply just sanded the roughness off. And it took me about five minutes of sanding. You know, not you don't have to press real hard, you have to press just medium hard. Uh, about five minutes of sanding and it's nice and smooth. It's, it's, it's comfortable to touch. It's not scratching my skin and you can slide it across the countertop without knowing that it's just gouging it out. So there we go. Weird little fix, but I think it's important. You know, I think it'd be a good thing to do uh, to protect your countertops. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. Please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, share this video, check out our website and more videos for you guys to check out as well. You guys have a great one.